3.1 million full-time public school teachers in the United States. There are over 5,000 teachers in the Samon School District, but there is only one Mr. Lamar. He is not just any teacher, he is an award-winning teacher. My name is Michael Lamar. And this is my 31st year of teaching in my own classroom. I also did a couple years of student teaching. I did some internships, so I probably about 34 years altogether in education. Mr. Lamar has been nominated for numerous awards. He recently won John Hopkins Teaching Award and was named San Juan Unified School District's Teacher of the Year. Let's find out how he felt about being named San Juan Teacher of the Year. San Juan Teacher of the Year was, uh, it was incredible to me. I, I never, as I was working through my career, I, ne I saw Teachers of the Year, I thought I, I could never be like that. And then last spring it ended up landing in my lap. Um, what it entails basically is after you win the award, you then go on to the next level um, from the San Juan Teacher of the Year and you compete for the County Teacher of the Year. And so during the summer, I spent a lot of hours writing essays, preparing for an interview. Um, I, did a, I did two interviews, one that actually was for the County Teacher of the Year Award, and then another one that they videotaped and have been running on uh, local television stations through cable. Um, so just just putting all of that together, and if you win the county, then you go to the state level. I did not win the county, and that was fine with me because I don't see teaching as a com competition whatsoever. Teaching is more a collaboration, and I was I'm more than honored and proud to represent the San Juan School District as a San Juan Teacher of the Year. One of the biggest pieces of successful classrooms is a teacher who knows his or her students and getting to know them on a personal level and know your material but also be willing to put the time into getting to know your students and devise curriculum that's going to be interesting and engaging and inspiring to your students. Mr. Lamar didn't act like a teacher. When, I, when he was teaching me, he acted like a friend. He assessed my problems and helped me individually to understand and learn the problem better. He, re he, di he doesn't just teach you what you're learning, he teaches you beyond. It's, he makes it fun to go to school. <laughs> the most rewarding part is coming in here every single day and being able to talk with my students and get to know them as individuals. And I think that's probably the best part about this job is getting to know all the different people that I work with every single day and um, beyond just being a student, but getting to know them as people as well. He's always funny and laughing, tells jokes. He's really funny. He's funny. Mr. Lamar, he plays these uh, great games that are educational. He helps us learn a lot and he gets to be like, we get to do a lot of fun activities. He has really great teaching methods and he, he just helps you in a lot of ways. He, he doesn't just like tell you what to do. He actually like gives, he like leads you through. He doesn't do it all by himself, but he like guides you. I start with the common core and see, all right, here's what I, uh, the state is asking me to teach. But then what I want to do is say, where's my slant to this? Here's the basic curriculum that I need to teach, but here's what I can add to it and here's my twist to it. So I'll take things that come to me in the sciences, the social studies, math, language arts, and look for a creative twist to it. Mr. Lamar does not like his students to just sit quietly and read out of textbooks. In fact, he likes the complete opposite. Mr. Lamar has many meetings after school and at night. He also spends a lot of time grading papers and preparing his lessons, but he still makes time to hang out with his students. 
Many of his past and present students stay after school to chat or play football and basketball with Mr. Lamar. During field trips, he doesn't just sit around and supervise. He organizes games of baseball or he participates in activities. So I think getting the time to do everything really, really well, that's the hard part of this job. Reading all the papers that I assign and commenting on all those papers and then writing the curriculum and changing my program based on the needs of my kids, it's just it's very time consuming. I think that's probably the hardest part. A typical day in my classroom has a ton of talking in it all day long. It's loud and it's raucous and that's the excitement that comes into my classroom. It's not off task loudness. Um, if you were to walk into this classroom, you'd see kids working in small groups, you'd see kids on computers, you'd see kids interacting with each other, with me back and forth, building knowledge and creating information. What I want my kids to know is they can accomplish anything that they set their minds to. Uh, I want them to have the confidence to go out into the world and say, this is what I want and I can do it. If I work hard enough and I persevere and I persist and I find a way around the obstacles that come, come at me while I'm trying to reach my goal, I can do that. So it's just that walking out of this door going, yeah, I learned a lot, I'm confident, I'm ready to go on to the next part of my life and I'm gonna take it on with excitement. Uh, again, confidence and perseverance to achieve whatever goal that I set for myself. <music>